ring. If you ready, let's go. Hey, hey. Casual wrestling community show. You are ready. Last question of the day. This is my question. Okay. I came up with this question. And okay. I want to ask you, and then I want to. I'm going to answer it as well. But I just had this weird thought process as uh, I was watching a movie, and in the movie it was a sequel where somebody in the movie was just completely recast. A character was just recast for this new movie. We're supposed to. We're supposed to just pretend like this is the same person. So it made me think: in the world of pro wrestling, how would you feel if characters in pro wrestling? were to get recast or rebooted at a later time like they do in movies. Okay, um, I guess, do you have an example of what you're talking about? So... Because I feel like it would depend on the character. I, 100%. Like, I get that, like, you probably can't make another Stone Cold Steve Austin. But the Fiend character exists, and WWE, I believe, owns the rights to that character. Why can't WWE just place another character as the fiend and continue moving forward. I, we do this in movies all the time. Yes. And so in that case, I think that I would be fine with it. Um, I, I think it a hundred percent depends on what the character is for, for if it bothered me or not. <laughs> because like, so that character exists and we keep playing the game. Will he won't he with Bray Wyatt? Is he coming back? Is he not coming back? <clears throat> but it definitely feels like if, if, if like if, WWE gets the feeling he's not coming back. Why can't you recast that character? I get at first it's going to feel disgusting. Oh my God, that's not Bray Wyatt. But it feels like over time it could become normalized. They, we do it in movies. I think they did it in like Harry Potter. Johnny Depp was just fucking replaced and you just kind of go forward with this. They own the name Bray Wyatt, right? I, I believe so, yes, because he uses the Wyatt 6 and the Rotunda, but he can't use Bray Wyatt. W that's one thing about WWE is what they do is they trademark these names and they cut these names and make these names funny because they want ownership of that character. And right now it's because they don't want these guys to leave and use that name somewhere else. But to me, what stops them from like, oh, Sasha, you want to leave? Cool. We'll just make Sasha Banks 2.0. We'll just find another person who has all of the characteristics that you have and we'll call them Sasha Banks. And little kids and little girls will just go, okay, that's Sasha Banks. I think with enough time passing by, I think there could be another Sasha Banks. But it probably won't be named Sasha Banks, but what stops Part you of the from Banks just family? Like, you know what I mean? Doesn't like, even need to be the Banks. Why can't you, you, they, it happens in movies all the time. Now I go even a step further. And what about rebooting characters? Fucking Spider-Man has been played by 10 different people. Batman has been 10 different people throughout the history 007. of Batman. James Bond. Right. So I know this is going to fucking sound crazy, but could you, reboot Kane, the undertaker and mankind for the next generation. I understand how blasphemous this sounds to people our age because the undertaker is our undertaker, but really think about a kid who right now is seven years old. They don't have any correlation to who the undertaker is, but that character is, is amazing, right? I would say 100% yes. So why couldn't you just why go? Why die? Yeah, here's the Undertaker. And even if the Undertaker kind of gives the blessing to that. This this came also from the heels of like, I saw an interview, which is hilarious because everybody shit on me about my Dominic Mysterio takes. I saw an interview with Ray Mysterio where he sat down and talked about Dominic's debut. And he goes, you're not ready. He told him. Oh, he literally he said, you're not that? ready. He said, you're not ready, but you do. You're a man. You do what you want to do. This explains so much about Dominic Mysterio, by the way. He also said, I want you to wear the mask. And Dominic didn't want to wear the mask. So Ray said these things. <clears throat> this explains why Ray is protecting Dominic. Ray knows he's not ready. So he's keeping him close by. It makes, it makes me watching Dominic. It makes so much more sense because he's basically training him on the job. So when he refers to him as like baby boy and stuff like that, he's being like serious. I, in think, it? I like, think there's like, a certain amount of it. That's like, it's protection. It's he doesn't want to throw Dominic to the wolves because yeah. I think he knows he's not ready, which makes me feel more comfortable, but still, I still think NXT is a better thing, but that, that it just leads to even farther. Could Dominic just take on the Rey Mysterio character when he's ready? I think because so. That, Why not just pass it down from father to son? That right? character is, is a great character. It's already proven to work. The moveset, the music, all of this is a package that why when a wrestler's done uh, 
Craig, your brother said this. He goes, I'm sad I'll never get to see The Undertaker's entrance. Why, though? Why can't there just be... And I, like, guys, it's not lost on me that, that how absurd it is to say, why can't there be another Undertaker? Because we're adults and it, like, we hold on to the, the legacy and the nostalgia. But imagine a seven-year-old kid who's never going to experience The Undertaker's entrance. I mean, it, I got to experience at WrestleMania and it was awesome. And I didn't even fully understand it at that point, but it was super and, and You're talking about cool. at WrestleMania 30. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And we even got, you got the Hall of Fame entrance, but that's like, no doubt we're at the end of, there's, there's what, three Undertaker entrances left? Probably yeah. at some point when he comes back for special moments. But I, it just seems like you could recast that character, reboot that character, bring that character back and acknowledge the lineage. Say, hey, yeah, we know this isn't, like there are iterations of Batman that aren't even Bruce Wayne, right? So you don't have to say this is the same Undertaker, but this is a new iteration of this character. I think it could work. I don't know. I'm in agreement with you. I, I think it would be cool, and it would also bring, like, joy to people that they may have never experienced before. One last thing that I hope we get out of the Triple H creative era is more characters in wrestling because it does feel like wrestling has turned more into a reality show then into a, a spectacle of like suspended belief. Luchasaurus still exists. And I laugh at him all the time because I think it's just funny that he's in AEW and not WWE because I think that character is tailor fit for a day, uh, WWE audience, right? Luchasaurus and, and Jungle Boy seem like they would be huge in WWE. But <clears throat> the days of having great mankind was a guy who fucking hung out in the boiler room. That was his character. Oh, I just remember the sock. Yeah, well, that was later on. But, I mean, yeah. Kane was Undertaker's brother and, and was burned in a fire and had to wear a mat. Like, these, there were backstories. Now it's just, oh, this is theory, and he likes to take pictures of himself. And there's not really a rhyme or reason why he's in WWE other than he can wrestle pretty good. It doesn't, I think that it's kind of lost the art of, of these bigger-than-life characters. And I get you need the mix. Mm -hmm. You need a certain amount of guys that are grounded in real life, but you need your Bray Wyatt's. You need those guys. We need a fiend in WWE. We need, so everybody tells me when I talk about why doesn't uh, Finn Balor wear the demon more often? And the answer I get all the time is he only does it in special moments. Why? That doesn't make sense to me. That do, feels like Finn Balor's in need of a fucking special moment. Like he's a guy who's buried down on the bottom of the fucking card in a group that makes no sense. Feels like now's the time to put the makeup on. Well, oh, it takes, you know, they said it takes him five hours to to put the makeup on. Then eat it uh, up, buttercup. Or fucking just maybe alter the character just a little bit so it doesn't take that long. True. Right? Maybe just make a fiend mask. Do whatever. I mean, a fiend, uh, a, a demon mask. Do what it is. But I don't, these characters are gone missing. Damien, or Damien Priest seems like a character fit to have that supernatural power. And what, he's just another guy, like, fighting with people at the Rey Mysterio party. I agree. That talks like this. Yeah. I mean, I miss I miss character work, and that's going to make me, they're gonna be, you're the old head. I, I don't think I've ever fully experienced it, but I think it would be pretty cool, because I've seen them in documentaries and stuff like I mean, that. what characters really exist right now in WWE? Like, and by character, I mean, like, character. The Someone that's, like, if you saw them walking outside, you wouldn't be okay with it. If I saw Luchasaurus walking down the street with a mask on, I'd laugh. None. I mean, Rey Mysterio wears a mask, but that's a luchador thing. That's not really a character. I mean, there's none, none that right? I can really call the, the out. The demon? No. The demon Finn Balor, when he does it, that's it? Yeah. There's a few in NXT, I think, that are a little gimmicky and stuff like that. But for the most part, wrestling's turned into a reality show, and I think it could benefit from rebooting a couple of these characters, just like we do with Marvel superheroes. I mean, WWE is just, it is just a live Marvel superhero world. Why can't we do that? Let's do it. You got anything else tonight? Uh, no, sir. I how, think that's about it. How long it. was this show? I didn't even start my timer. An hour and three minutes. Perfect. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, so before we go, though, if you have questions for next week, please reach out to us at questions at IamNerdyD.com. Um, and again, that's if you have a question that you want to ask us on the show. You if you have again. the, what was it, the three questions about what a match? Oh, right? uh, anybody who wants to give me homework to watch about Hulk Hogan on why I should be a Hulk Hogan fan. Yes, sir. Cause I'm open to it. I'm not, I'm, I have not made a definitive. I don't like Hulk Hogan 
uh, it's not ingrained in me yet. Okay. All right. This has been another episode of the CWC Wrestling Podcast. Make sure to tune in every week on either YouTube or Spotify and leave us a comment on this episode. Also, make sure to follow us on TikTok if you don't already. Just search for the Notorious Nerdy D. As always, I am the Notorious Nerdy D. That is Level Up Lauren, your current and soon to be not uh, Notorious Nerdy D pay per view champion. Uh, and Lauren, ring the final bell. Ding, 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 ding. What ding, sound ding, are you hitting? Ding, ding. It's the first one. Step in the ring. If you ready, let's go. Hey, hey. Casual wrestling community show. You already know. Talking WWE. Keep it rolling and hosted by Notorious Nerdy D. Hey. Don't for sure that you gon' find. Tune in because it's online. Hit them with.